Hey, what's up everyone? You are listening to episode 48 of The J. And, um, you know, we are a few days away from Christmas. And uh, I know in Japan, it's tradition, right? KFC, Christmas. Consider it. <laughs> I actually been doing it for the past uh, seven years or so. And, um, yeah, it's, if anything, it's just... Uh, it's something I started back in uh, Japan and have done it every year and have, you know, you know, uh, have uh, told myself, why do I keep on doing this? But no, it's just, I guess, part of my Christmas tradition that originated from Japan because in uh, Japan, they love their KFC for Christmas. It's considered a luxury, <laughs> luxury meal. Uh, no, seriously though, it's it's very expensive um, in Japan, and uh, and lastly, you know, every year I've been going to the U.S. It's it's not exactly cheap as well. So, um, but yeah, I think if anything, it's the holidays are coming up, and I figured, you know what, let's do a Tetsudo Moke podcast edition, and we'll talk about the model trains. But let's see what's going on um, in in you know the train world of things, and especially what's happening in Japan. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, start with this article here. So what we have here is there's going to be a smartphone version of the Digipla Collection Whole Railway Mini JR East Edition. And this one is, uh, you know, for people who, I guess you can pretty much get it for iOS or Android. It's about 1480 yen. Um, so I guess... The concept is it's a plastic model, and you could lay out, do layouts, and run your trains. Um, I guess it's coming out for the Nintendo Switch, and also with Nintendo Switch on October. Wait, not October. It was was it already released already in, in back in October or? I'm not sure, but I know a PC Steam version is out. So the plastic model mode, you can create mass plastic models by putting vehicle parts together like a puzzle. All the vehicles are officially licensed, and the vehicles are detailed. Okay, so you can place buildings to create a variety of landscapes. Not only can vehicles assembled in plastic model mode be driven, but you can also create scenery in the morning, evening, and night. So... You can find this on the uh, gmodecorp.com. See if we have something here. Here it is right here. Probably this is the one. Let's see here. Yeah, Nintendo Switch and Steam. I guess they do have it. And uh, this game will be out on... What day is it here? December 19th. So it should be coming out well it, it is out it came out like a few days ago again for 1480 n so yeah i think if anything uh I would, i'll probably check out the steam version of it but that's pretty cool so let's move on aha it's that time of the year that time of the year when uh the train uh, toy companies ball train companies start releasing their catalogs so we have here the Akato Engage and HO Gage Railway Model Catalog for 2024. It will list products scheduled to be released or remanufactured or re-released in 2024. So this one goes on sale. Well, actually, is on sale right now. Came out on December 14th, and the price is 26.40 yen. So. Again, this is, these are catalogs. They mainly list products that are scheduled to be released or re-released, remanufactured, whatever you want to call it. So it's also includes an easy-to-understand starter edition for people who are new to railway models, as well as tips and advice on how railway, railway models work and how to develop track plans. There is also a QR code that allows you to easily access the company's homepage for the magazine. And again, this one is uh, 2640 yen, which would be probably, probably what, like $17 or so. Um, but yeah, that's cool. On to the next news. Okay, this one's courtesy of Tetsudo. And this is a train site in Japan, a popular model train site, or trains in general. 
And this one article is for those who purchase railway models and railroad. Um, well, I guess this is about the tax, the tax thing. And, uh, you know, um, you know, I guess it, the, the whole article is about, you know, with the year and New Year holidays, right now is the best time to get hobby related items on sale. Uh, especially online through auctions such as Mercury and Yahoo auctions that sell N-Gage and HO um, gauge railway, railway models. Um, you know, extra railroads that people may have accumulated that uh, could be someone's junk, but for another person, it's, uh, it's a great way to, you know, capitalize on getting more uh, railway pieces. And, um, yeah, this thing is pretty much, um, these are also great for return gifts for hometown tax donations. A surprisingly large number of people avoid going home or traveling through during the business year end and New Year holidays and enjoy model trains and plastic models thoroughly. So these people who are pretty much stuck at home, they like doing these, collecting the models, playing the models, and, um, yeah, I got it. I think if anything, um, let's see here. There's going to be a, be a family pay bonus. Anyway, this is just pretty much about. Um, yeah, I think I talked about this before in regards to Japan and uh, the, the various ways to cut down on you know tax. Well, not to cut down, but yeah, to pretty much to cut down on uh, your your tax spending and how to bring it down. So. Yeah, you can definitely look that one up. Let's see here. Next one. Okay, this one's from Kiss Press JP. A vehicle tour will be held on January 20th, 2024 at the Yakujin Depot in Kakogawa City on the JR Kakogawa line. The pre-registration is required by January 5th to participate. Groups of no more than five people, including elementary school students, are required. So the this is the train right here. That looks pretty classic, but I do like the livery. Um, the blue and the black. So, yeah, this one is um, courtesy of the JR Kakagawa Line, the Kobe Electric Railway Hour Line, and the Hojo Railway Usage Promotional Promotion Council. Um, working to promote the use of each line by encouraging people to rediscover the goodness and appeal of railways and gaining fans of regional railways. And you can tour the facility. So the first event will be held at the uh, Yakujin Depot on the JR Kakagawa line. And you can see the train cars being washed. Uh, children can ride a rail cart, operate a model train, and do other things you would normally see or experience. So here's uh, pretty much events are also being scheduled to be held at the Kobe Electric Railway's Suzurandai Vehicle Factory and Hojo Railway's Hojo Hojo Station Inspection and Repair Depot. So something to keep an eye on if you are in that uh, that area. So looking at this right here, yeah, if you're in the Kobe area, that's a pretty cool thing to take advantage of. Okay, with well this news right here, the railway diorama is also in the Christmas mood. So you can create a fantastical world at the Yokohama Hara Model Railway Museum. So this is an impressive diorama depicting a fantastical world related to Christmas. And it can be enjoyed until the 25th at the Hara Model Railway Museum in Nishi Ward, Yokohama. The diorama Ichiban Titsumo Park has six tracks and one lap is about 70 meters long. The length of the entire track is approximately 400 meters. 450 meters, yeah. And the building is nearly 450 meters. And the building near the center decorated with a red band is symbolic. There are many ideas to create a Christmas mood, such as Santa Claus doll and a color and colorful presents placed in one corner of the model. A 
two-year-old woman from Tokyo was visiting for the first time and said with a smile, it's a wonderful place that not only children, but also adults and couples can enjoy. It's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Last entry is at 4.30 p.m. This is an article written by Kimura Yoka. And this one is for Kanala, kanaloko.jp. Okay, next article. Okay, and this article right here is from NHK. And this one's as a memory of Christmas, an event at a temple where children's are where, where children are invited to run model trains. So let's see here. In an effort to deliver memorable Christmas presents to children, an event was held at the temple in Oita City where a brightly colored model train was run or was can be ran. Uh, this event was held at the Rio, Rio Hoji Temple in Kuhara Chuo, Oita City, with the cooperation of local railway enthusiasts and about 180 people, including children from a nearby children's school, who were invited on the 8th. And uh, pretty much the model train ran from the children, which was loaded with stuffed animals, the popular characters, Santa Claus dolls, and decorated with Christmas wreaths creating a Christmas mood. The children cheered and waved and joined the world of trains were created in an unexpected location. So, children were having fun. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now let's get to the model trains. We're going to talk about Kato releases. And this is for the month of April and May. So for April, we got the DD510. Uh, it's a warm terrain. Let's see if we can make this bigger here. There we go. Let me go ahead and check these all out right here. Let's see what we have. Okay, there we go. The one in gray is the Kato. Uh, DD510 warm terrain. Uh, this one's going to be orange with gray. And it has the white bars right here. And uh, so this is an early, this is an early mass-produced car manufactured back in 1964 through 1965. And um, these trains are one of the most popular ones I know in J Japanese train you know history. They were very active, and um, these locomotives were divided into um, non-multiplex types and um, because it wasn't compatible with heavy duty with heavy duty things, um, it has a clean and uh, clean and beam without jumpers and a front handrail, uh, which was unique to our earlier cars at the time. And the features uh, include a front in, um, inspection door that opens, and um, warm terrain is mainly located in Kyushu, so. Uh, it was used to pull passenger trains and freight trains, and it also led to the blue trains, the Sakura, Hayabusa, and Akatsuki, uh, that ran on the Nagasaki main line. But in the 1970s, this uh, train was transferred to Yonago Ward, and it continued to be active there on the Fukuchi, Fukuchiyama line and the Sunin main line so, before retiring. So that is some history on this vehicle right there. And uh, let's see here. Is there a price for this? So this one is going to be about 8,800 yen. So that's what you expect for a single, single car. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. So we have the EF65 500P. So you know um, when it comes to these EF65s, they're classics. But um, this one is really interesting because it get it has the blue cars, and then you have the beige or the blue. Um, the EF65500 was released back um, in 1964 to 1965, and it's based on the EF60, and it was used to tow the 20 series Sleeper Express and the Koki 10,000 series high speed freight trains, and these were the star of the Tokaido main line at the time. The passenger type is called the P type, and the cargo type is called the F type. And they are characterized by different equipment. In addition, due to a shortage of passenger locomotives, eight EF65 Series Zero cars were then remodeled. So you can see it right here. So what we have is the uh, EF65 for about 7810. 
and that is just for the single car right there and then you can get the Series F type Limited Express color for the same price. So it goes about like $50, $50 in US dollars or so. A little over. Um, the F6500 Series P type. Um, I'm not sure what the... Okay, one has a GR specification. The other, the other one doesn't. But uh, yeah. So these are around like 50 or 60 USD. Um, or 7,000 to 8,000 yen between that so not too bad uh, we have the Kato the Sakura right here let's see if we can find well it's part of the um, the line right here so these are the cars that the uh, EF65 is pulling and um, you know the sleeper Express Sakura has changed to the 20 series in 1964 um, it's a traditional train nickname that represents Japanese National Railways. And this one was in operation from 1965 to 1972. And they were divided and merged at Hizen Yamaguchi, currently Kohoku Station, on the Nagasaki Main Line. Formations bound for Nagasaki and formations bound for Sasebo. So that's pretty interesting. So that is the cars that are being pulled. Not bad. Uh, you could see here, though, that you could see the name mark with a sakura on here. So, the next one is the 227 1000 series. So, looking at the colors with the green right here, but this one is a two car direct current suburban train which started back which started in 2019 to improve safety and service levels and it replaced the old uh, JNR J Japanese National Railways type vehicles that were often used in the Wakayama area it's a shaped train it's character was characterized by its green coloring right there and this one expresses the depth the culture the history and nature that are common to the Nara and Wakayama areas in which this train travels the exterior is similar to the 227.0 series, but there are changes in various parts to suit the, op suit the operating mode, such as the door opening, closing guidance indicator next to the side sliding door, and a long seat inside the car. So, this one is a two-car set. will go about 13420 so about $110 or so USD. Um... You could get an SD formation or SR formation. So you can see right here with the uh, different colors. So this one's the SR right here. And this one is the SD. Okay, so let's see here. What else do we have? So the next one I'm going to talk about are the April. Well, this is continuing the April-May releases. Let's go to that real quick here. And what we have here, and I love this livery of the Shonan colors, but we have here is the 211 uh, 5000 series. And this is the this is for the Tokaido main line. Um, yeah, you can see the shown on the the orange and green, the 211 series, 5000 series, and the 5600 series um, were used for commuting, daily commuting, and suburban transportation on the Tokaido main line, and it improved customer service facilities and cost reductions of the conventional 211 series, and because they are operated in frequent sections, uh, toilet facilities were um, removed or omitted, pretty much, so. This one's going to go for about 16,500 yen, so you'll be paying about 140 bucks or so. But you get, um, this one is for the three car set. If you get the six car set, um, which comes with the 211, 550, 600, that had already three cars, by adding this um, for a six car, it comes out to 30,580, so you're paying about. Um, about 275 USD or so. Let's see here. The next one's a 313 8000. So, this one's a 
this one right here. I'm just looking at the orange livery. So this was uh, manufactured for the Central Liner, a rapid ticket system that is used to operate between Nagoya and Naka Nakatsugawa on the Chuo Main Line. So it's silver um, for head, I guess, or the f top. And the various orange coloring give it a very different impression from other 313 series. And the interior also features convertible cross seats with a wide seat pitch, a box seat at the end of the car with a large table, and a partition next to the door. Okay. This one goes about for 15,950 yen. 2,600, uh, let's see here. I don't see anything here. Oh, yeah, here is a 3100 right here. So you, you got the, um, this one's for 11,000 yen. It's a two-car set. So I'm looking more for this 3100. And um, so this one is an expanded version of the 3000 series that's active in Shizuoka. But, you know, both of them look very cool. And I think the price is pretty much good for the this two-car train um, at 11,000 yen, which is about, what, $99 or so? 95 to 99 I'm not sure. But, yeah, that is that. And let's see here, right here. So this is the Sunrise Express, I believe. This is a classic one. Yep. <laughs> this is definitely a classic. A 285 series. Panograph edition formation. Uh, this is a limited express sleeper train that appeared back in 1998 between Tokyo and Okoyama. A 14 car train is operated combining seven cars of Sunrise Izumo from Tokyo to Izumo City and seven cars of Sunrise Seto, Tokyo to Takamatsu. Although the basic pure Performances are the same. There are differences in body designation and underfloor equipment between JR West Zero Cs and JR Tokai's 3000 series. So, since 2013, renovations have been carried out and adding pantographs and expanding the customer doorstep. So, that is cool. And this one's going to go for. A seven car set goes for twenty six thousand seven hundred thirty, so you're gonna be paying about a two hundred and forty five to two hundred and fifty buck um, USD. Uh, expansion seven car set is about the same thing, twenty six thousand seven hundred and thirty. Um, you can get um, an LD light for it. So yeah, I think th is there any others? Let's see here. I think that's it pretty much for the month of April and May. Um, we will discuss Tomix in the next podcast, but uh, pretty much want to discuss to see what's going on with uh, Japanese uh, train news and also what was happening on new releases. So this is for Kato. I'll save the Tomix for the next, uh, the next podcast. So everyone, you take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.